Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall, and today we are talking about a little FAQ action. No, we're not going to sit here and whinge about the things that were or weren't in the FAQ like so many other commentators are doing. We are going to focus in on the one change that was awesome, and that is the FAQ to idolaters and what we can do with it now that we couldn't do before. It's awesome. Let's get to it. So a quick refresher on what Idolaters does. So it is a Slaves to Darkness host. It turns one of your chariots into an Idolater Lord. He gains the Hero keyword, the Eye of the Gods keyword. He becomes a priest. Um, he gains one of the prayers from the Prayer Lore, which is linked to his Chaos Mark. Um, and he is treated as an exalted charioteer and that gives him plus one to hit. Uh, this comes with a set of command traits and prayers. All prayers, including the prayers from your war shrine are done at plus one. So all of your war shrine prayers are going off on twos. Your downside here is that this particular host does not include artifacts, but it does a whole lot of other stuff to make up for it. We get a uh, command ability called Desecrate, which basically turns off uh, terrain rules for one terrain piece on the board for command points, and uh, that can be super useful for all of those nagging... Uh, terrain pieces out there that uh, are terrain for factions or things that are just in the way that have an inconvenient rule or something that your opponent is capitalizing on. It just makes it a, an object in the way and just deletes all of its rules. Also what this does is your cultists become battle line. So that is all of the war cry war bands. And your culter, cultists gain the same sort of charge rule that marauders have, where you roll 2d6 and you change the lowest die to a 6. So your minimum charge is always going to be a 7. Which is very, very strong. Gives them tons of mobility. And the FAQ of all FAQs, the thing that we are here for, the change, the addition... Cultists now gain the chaos mark of your idolater lord. Yes, friends, these cultists now can be devoted to one of the chaos gods, and that is awesome. Awesome also that they can take the undivided keyword as well if they so choose. But uh, mainly focusing on the chaos gods. So let's see what else idolaters does for us. Our command traits, we have the three generic command traits that all of the hosts have. Uh, plus two wounds to the general, minus bravery for enemies within six inches of the general, plus or minus two in the Eye of the Gods table if you uh, roll on the Eye of the Gods table. Um, you get to chant an extra prayer with one of them. You can use the Desecrate uh, command ability for free once every turn. Or you give two attacks extra to your general. Um, I definitely like the extra prayer a lot. That's probably the one that I would go with. Um, speaking of prayers, uh, here are what we have for prayers. And all of this is linked to which chaos mark you give to your idolater lord. So they all are successful on a three plus but you get plus one for all of your prayer rolls so they are on twos your corn prayer you re-roll all hits zinch prayer re-roll all saves nurgle re-roll all wounds slanesh re-roll all charges and undivided heal d3 so that is choosing a friendly unit within 12 inches to get one of these buffs. All of these are definitely good. Um, and the reroll saves is like the first zinch thing that feels like it's actually worth having. Although 
we have a lot of ways to get re-rolls of saves in here. That feels like it should be more of a Nurgle thing, to be honest, but um, the re-roll wo uh, wound rolls is also pretty Nurgly. So, what do we have for cultist options? Well, all of them are 70 points for their minimum unit size. Minimum unit size varies depending on the warband, but uh, they're generally 9 or 10 wounds collectively, uh, 8 to 10 models, you know, depending on the warband. So let's look at the general abilities of all of these. Basically, you're getting, on average, one attack per model. And if you have less than 10 models, you're getting some extra bonus attacks on something there to get it up to 10 or 11 attacks uh, for that minimum unit size. Most of your attacks are on fours and fours with no rend. Some of them have uh, a little bit better. But these guys are pretty basic battle line guys. They're really not anything that impressive. Uh, what's important here, though, is the Iron Golems. They are on a 4-plus save, and they re-roll all of their saves. And that is all the time, friends. They don't have any conditions for re-rolling saves like your Chaos Warriors do. They just re-roll their saves. Untamed Beasts, they are the other notable one in here. They get a pregame six-inch move up the battlefield, so they are a great screening force, um, which we'll see in a moment also has uh, some great synergies. The Cypher Lords, they can make an enemy unit there in combat with minus one to hit on a roll of four plus. Corvus Cabal treats terrain uh, as if they have flying, so they can jump over terrain splintered fang they can regenerate the snakes in the unit and their hits of six do a mortal wound but the combat uh sequence ends the unmade prevents enemies in combat with them from retreating and the spire tyrants get plus one to hit if they charge so out of all of these the really solid choices here are the iron golems and the untamed beasts uh, both of these also have shooting attacks, which is very useful. So let's look at a sample list here. And I have to give full credit here to Tom Lyons from Warhammer Weekly. This is his list that he came up with, uh, and I am just copying down here. I really like this list a lot. I thought it was a really great starting point. All of your things in here are marked Nurgle, and they are in the Plague Touched Warband. Just as a reminder, the Plague Touched Warband's key ability is that wounds of six that your enemy makes against units in this warband do a mortal wound back to the attacking unit. So it makes all of your guys really prickly. So let's go down the list. Bellacor is in here just because he is awesome. Chaos Sorcerer Lord, he is giving more reroll saves to your units as well as uh, reroll hits and wounds with his spell. Chaos Lord on Karkadrak, he is a tank on his own and he is buffing up your Chaos Knights as well as your Chaos Chariots with your Idolater Lord. Uh, Idolater Lord on Chaos Chariot is our general. Um, battle line choices. 10 Chaos Knights, 5 Chaos Knights, 24 Iron Golems, 24 Iron Golems. So that is 60 wounds of 4-up re-rollable saves uh, that are doing mortal wounds back to your opponent when they wound them on a 6. Those guys are going to be very difficult to shift, and your opponent is going to take a lot of damage trying to take them down. In addition, finally, we have a Chaos War Shrine and an extra command point to round out the list. Now, I think this is a really solid competitive list. This looks a lot like the Plague Touched Warband lists that I've been building that use Chaos Warriors. The only real change here is that we're using Iron Golems and a Chariot instead of the Chaos Warriors. Uh, in addition, I've also been using some Chaos Marauder Horsemen uh, for screening units. 
optional here if you change things around a little bit you can get your uh i'm sorry untamed beasts that was the warband i was looking for your untamed beasts in here to be a screening unit and plague touched warband loves screens so that is another solid choice maybe drop a unit of chaos knights and uh bellacor and i don't know find something else to drop maybe drop the lord on Karkadrak or not have him in the plague touched warband and add in some untamed beasts so there is a lot of really cool utility in here. You have two good hammer units. You get the Lord on Karkadrak, who is a tank. You have Bellacor, who is solid. The Idolater Lord on Chaos Chariot becomes a decent offensive piece uh, because he's buffed up. Uh, all in all, this is a cool list. I like this a lot. This is definitely a solid Idolater's option. I don't know if this is the 100% perfectly honed list or perfect version of this but it's a cool start and definitely something that we can play around with in the future so that is it for now kids as always don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new here and if you so choose you can come support us on patreon and don't forget that we have a facebook page and a twitter account linked down there in the description if you'd like to come join the conversation with us on social media. So that's it for now, guys. I will talk to you all later.